My name is Kelsey. I will be talking about Reverend Thomas W. Humes today. Thomas Humes was named president of East Tennessee University in July 1865, but it was not until a year later that the institution could resume operations. Humes was a Knoxville native and a graduate at the age of 15 from East Tennessee College. He had studied for the ministry at Princeton Theological Seminary but had been unwilling to subscribe to the Presbyterian Westminster Confession of Faith and was not ordained. Humes then worked for a time as a merchant and a newspaper editor and was an unsuccessful candidate for the legislature before his ordination in 1845 in the Protestant Episcopal Church. He had been the much-respected rector of St. John's Episcopal Church in Knoxville for 17 years when asked to be president of East Tennessee University. The major task facing Humes was the rebuilding of the university. During the period of reconstruction following the war, this task was made easier by the fact that Humes had been a staunch union supporter. Much of the Humes years was taken up by bitter contention between those who would shift the university's curricular emphasis from the classics to the agricultural and mechanical arts and those who would retain the traditional academic framework. Humes stood with the traditionalists, and this led to his unfortunate downfall. The trustees asked for his resignation, and on August 24, 1883, Humes complied. The 18-year tenure of Humes was the longest of the early presidents, and he probably would serve longer had not the proponents of change caused his resignation. This concludes my video on Reverend Thomas W. Humes.